my name is Carmen. My, um, my brother's an addict. My, my brother was an addict. I went to an Al-Anon meeting. My, my brother, uh, he was an addict. Welcome back to The Bear. I'm Carmen Berzato, and today we're going to be making beef rajal. Now, this is a very special dish in my dysfunctional nightmare of a household. My brother Mike made this for us every single Sunday. My brother and I, we would cook a lot together, especially when we were kids. You know, that's, that's when we were closest. Food was always our common ground. We wanted to open a restaurant together. Um, we had a name, we had a vibe, all of it. You guys, this is a cute story. My brother, who was addicted to painkillers, blew his head off on the State Street Bridge. Bam! Now hold on, it gets better. No letter, no goodbye, nothing, except he did leave me our family's restaurant in his will, which was a nice curveball, considering he never let me work there with him, even though I'm pretty good at this, right? <laughs> My brother was my best friend. Like, like we just knew everything about each other. I used to run the best restaurant on the planet Earth. It was pretty different from my brother's shithole, which is barely hanging on by a thread. So that was a nice final fuck you for Mike on the way out. Anyway, Brajal. Guys, where's my stuff? <laughs> I didn't know my brother was using drugs. What does that say? He stopped letting me into the restaurant a couple of years ago. He just cut me off cold and that, uh, that hurt, you know? And I think that just, that flicked a switch in me where I was like, okay, fuck you, watch this. 
and because we had this connection through food and he had made me feel so rejected and lame and shitty and uncool, I, I made this plan where I was going to go work in all the best restaurants in the world. Why? I get it, you have a short man's complex. You can barely reach over this fucking table, right? This is why you have the tattoos, and your cool little scars, and you go out and you take your smoke breaks. It's fun, isn't it? But here's the thing, you're terrible at this. You're no good at it. Go faster, motherfucker. Keep going faster. Why are you so slow? Why are you so fucking slow? Why? You think you're so tough? Yeah, why don't you say this? Say, yes, chef, I'm so tough. Yes, chef, I'm so tough. Say, fucking yes, chef, I'm so tough. Yes, chef, I'm so tough. You are not tough. You are bullshit. You are talentless. Say, fucking hands. Hands! You should be dead. kid if I was nervous I was scared I wouldn't want to do something he'd always tell me to just face it you know get it over with he would always say um, stupid he would always say um, let it rip
I started a fryer fire. Night after I won food and wine's best new chef, nearly burned the place down. For real? For real. This weird thing happens, too. You have this minute where you, you're watching the fire and you're thinking, if I don't do anything, this place will burn down and all my anxiety will go away. And then you put the fire out. Put the fire out. track of time and he died. And he left me his restaurant. And over the last couple of months, uh, I've been trying to fix it because it was in rough shape. And I think it's very clear that me trying to fix the restaurant was me trying to fix whatever was happening with my brother. And I don't know, maybe fix the whole family because that restaurant, it has, and it, it does mean a lot to people. It means a lot to me. I just don't know if it ever meant anything to him. <laughs> 